Now we met one of the victims when she was just 10 years old, struggling to read at school. Our Julie Cornell reconnected with Letitia Fox last November for an inspirational story about overcoming dyslexia. Making this interview with Fox's adoptive mother hurt that much more. She was loved. That anybody that met Letitia loved Letitia. Letitia was the life of any situation. Clarice Jackson can only say she's heartbroken at the death of her daughter, Letitia Fox. Clarice was the girl's reading teacher back in grade school. I first met my daughter when she came into my classroom in second grade. The first thing she did was come up to me and hug me. <laughs> and I was, I was sold. <laughs> I was sold <laughs> after that. We first did a story on the pair 14 years ago. That's Letitia Fox at age nine as she struggled to learn to read. Clarice recognized the girl had severe dyslexia. It just made me sick to my stomach. I just couldn't believe that this was happening and no one was doing anything. Clarice became Letitia's legal guardian, adopting her, putting her in private school. Letitia's mom was in prison. You talk about struggling through school, being bullied at school because she couldn't read, write, or spell, and overcome all of that. Just last fall, that's Letitia Fox in her mom's kitchen, talking about her progress and her success in overcoming dyslexia. Just don't give up. I never gave up. I'm 24, never gave up. And about her mom. I really appreciate her. I probably don't show it a lot, but I really do. I really do. The 24-year-old told me about her job working with people in a group home. Her mom excited about the new center she opened to help other children who can't read. It took me telling her, you're not stupid. There's nothing wrong with you. You just learn differently. The and young woman, now Omaha's latest murder victim, recognized the importance of helping others. Then it shows that there's someone out there that's still, you know, helping. There's someone out there that's still looking to help somebody else, you know, mm -hmm. instead of everybody just passing it by. You know? And now her mother pleading for a different kind of help. They information about what happened in that Saturday morning shootout, a crime scene spanning 18 blocks, taking her daughter's life. You know what retaliation I want you to do? I want you to retaliate by opening up your mouth and telling the police who did this. Clarice replaying in her mind Letitia's precious childhood, jumping rope, and remembering the hurdles she jumped as well. Julie Cornell, KETV. News Watch 7. Well, you could earn $25,000 cash if you can help police solve this case. Call, text, email Crime Stoppers. If your tip pays off, they'll pay you. And stay with us for continuing coverage of this big story on KETV.com. Also from KETV Crime Stoppers, police want you to take a good look at 19 year old Ari Soto. He is wanted for first degree murder in another deadly shooting. Roberto Gonzalez died after the crime near 24th and P Thursday. Police already arrested another man as an accessory. A deadly shooting.